Breaking news mathematical investigatory report mere biomaker pre-calculus. Problem solving involving trigonometric equations. Hello, good day to each and everyone. Um, my name is Nikki and I am from group 3 of STEM 11 Integrity. I'm here today to discuss to you guys about our topic entitled Problem Solving Involving Trigonometric Equations. Here are the steps in solving situational problems. First is to understand the problem. Carefully read the problem in order to understand the things that are needed to be solved in the problem. Once the problem is clear, you will be able to, to gather all the data in, uh, involved and with this, you can represent different variables and relate what is the unknown. So, next is to draw or sketch a diagram. Um, in order to have a clearer picture of what you are solving, you need to visualize the problem um, by sketching or drawing a paragraph. Next is, of course, working out the problem. This is where you solve the equation and execute the plan you came out with. Lastly, check your answer. Um, check your answer and your solution for you to know if it's right here is an example of a problem involving trigonometric equation. So let's read it and understand. As a boy was walking through the street, a statue caught his eye so he wanted to know how tall it is. Knowing he was 90 feet away from it and the angle measurement from his eyesight to the tip of the statue is 35 degrees. With his height 6 feet, how tall is the statue? So we can visualize this problem using this one. We all know that the distance between the two objects is 90 feet and the angle of elevation is 35 degrees from the boy's eyesight to the tip of the statue and we are asked now to find the height of the statue. With respect to the angle of elevation, the height will be the opposite leg or the opposite side and the distance between them which is 90 feet will be the adjacent leg. Um, with this, we all know we should use the um, trigonometric function tangent, which is opposite over adjacent, to find the height of the statue. We can have this um, tangent 35 degrees will be equal to opposite, which is the height, so h over adjacent, which is 90 feet. We can solve this by just um, multiplying 90 by each side, 90 degrees and 90 here. So we can just um, cancel this out. We will have an equation which is equal to h is equal to 90, 90 feet multiplied by tangent 35 degrees. Um, with this, uh, using calculator, we can calculate that tangent 35 is equal to 0 0.7002 and just multiply the two of it, the both. So h is equal to, h will be equal to 63.018 feet. Okay, but as we all know, this measurement is just from the eyesight to the tip of the statue. So, um, to calculate the exact height of the statue, um, we will just add the height of the boy. So, 63.018 feet plus 6 feet will be equal to 69.018 feet. As easy as that. So, Thank you for listening. Submitted to Sir Moises S. Flores. Submitted by Group 3 of 11 STEM Integrity. Members Alia Sofia D. Trevoingo C. Fernandez Chael Garcia Francis Miguel G. Gachalian. Jember A. Sorian Uyubert R. Salado Justine Kyle C. Azurin. Ken Russell D. Aguilon Marie D. Kamit Nikki Nile P. Oxen.